Hi guys, so this is Lilian from the YouTube channel. I'm here today to make the explanation, explanatory video about mid channel covers on the bass. So I'm gonna try to explain you the tabs re as easily as can be because I'm not really really good at it, and especially in English because it's not my mother, my mother tongue. But I'll try to be as clear as possible. If you guys have any questions at the end, by the end of the video, don't mind asking on by um, like by commenting. All right. So I'm first try to play the song at like the normal pace, and then I'll slow it down a lot to make you to show you how it's done. All right. So the third tonal chord of this song is a B. All right. So it's like. So this is the first part of the song. It goes on the E string 7th fret B. Then you go on the A string 7th fret E. You put an, a pull you do a pull off. No, sorry, a hammer on on the 9th uh, fret of the E st uh, A string as well. So you go from B B E F sharp. And then you go on the A on the D string, so it goes it's really really easy, you'll see so yeah, B, E, hammer on, F sharp, A and then you go back on the A string 6th fret and you do a slide from the 6th fret to the 7th fret it's to say E flat to E, to the, to e major so yeah, B, E, F sharp, A, E flat, E, 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 right? And then after that, you go on the E strings, 5th fret, to the 7th fret, that is to say A to the, to the, um, to the B, and you go slide, and you do the exact same thing as before. So, A, E, F sharp, A, and then comes the other part of the chord, which goes from the F sharp here on the A string, so ninth fret, to the eleventh um, fret on the D string, so that is to say a D, a, like a, sorry a C sharp. Then you just go from one note to another backward, so it's like. C sharp, C, B, right? So it goes like So this is the very first part of the whole song, right? It's really really short, it's really practical Hopefully it ain't gonna take ages Right, after that you still go, you still keep your fingers on the 9th to 11th fret and you go on the um, G sharp here on the 11th fret of the A string so it's like So yeah, this part goes starts on the on a G sharp. So it goes like you put this finger here, 11th fret, A string, same uh, same fret on the D string. And then you go back to the F sharp. So yeah, G sharp. Um, C sharp, F sharp, and then you go back to the C sharp as well. So it's here, yeah. And then you go from the G, G major to the F sharp. All right. I hope that that makes sense for you guys because 
it's gonna be really hard for me to explain it in a better way. So yeah, it's like this. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, G major, F sharp, all right? And then it goes like, um, it goes on a um, B, no, on a, on a D, on a D, and a, oh my god, sorry, on a C, C major. Like C, 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 you play it twice actually, it's like... And then you go <clears throat> on the... Um, on the D, you go on the D, and you play, you play slightly backward from one tone to another, like, like D, C sharp, B. So now let's see, I'm gonna play the whole stuff from the very beginning until this point to see how it's done, still sl quite slowly. And then you repeat the exact same part for the next part of the song, like this. It will just add this extra E note on the G string, 7th and 9th fret. You know, so it goes like... exact same part and then it changes it changes to the bridge which go like da -da -da -dum, da -da -dum. all right and this is a B so B on the ninth fret D string all right so we're almost at the half of the song all right so yeah, it starts like this, B, G sharp, E, C sharp, yeah, B, G sharp, E, C sharp, alright? And then you do the exact same pattern, like this exact same move. Right. On like one, uh, one, like two frets below. All right. So it's like, and then you go. Yeah, it's a, a 